Hello, hello. Man. Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Caleb. So, it has been literal months since the last time I did a vlog like this. And that's A, because I am back living at home where I'm pretty much in the closet about everything, including my YouTube channel. And B, because I've been super busy doing a lot of things during lockdown, which included transitioning my class in the last half of the spring to online learning which was like a sudden change and I learned a lot, but it was quite an experience. And C, I have started working on my dissertation. <laughs> There's gonna be more material on that later in the video. And I'm thinking of even doing a separate video explaining the whole process of writing a dissertation proposal and the whole research that I've been doing over the past couple of months. And also I have been occupied with a lot of my DIY hobbies, most of all sewing, which if you know me well, you know that's one of my favorite hobbies ever. And I would like to showcase to you guys a couple of things that I have been sewing and doing. In addition to mending and altering clothes, I also make my own projects. And in response to the COVID pandemic and to protect both myself and others, as is the smart and wise thing to do, I made a bunch of masks. Now, the interesting thing here is that almost all of these were from scraps that I saved from alterations of dresses for the family or shirts, blouses, that sort of thing. And it's really, really cool that I can end up color coordinating or my family members can end up color coordinating their outfits with these masks. Everything you see here, I made at least three or four each. There's also this interesting pattern, more of like a cosplay uh, mask pattern. And it fits really neatly like this with a bit of a peak here just to make sure that my nose gets covered and very snug ribbon straps. It's a generally stretchy polyester material so I was able to cut it really fit to size my face. Here's an easier one which requires a little bit more material but it's faster to sew because it's only straight stitches that are required. This one is made of a very similar material, slightly more spandex and this one is basically a pleated fold that can expand down the middle so that it also makes sure to cover the nose and the chin. The patterns that I used were all free online, so if any of you are interested in trying your hand at sewing these masks, I will link the two different patterns down below. And these I actually made from original material. I went to Joanne Fabrics and picked up some silky material. This one is more of kind of like a goldenrod yellow, a bit more like gold, a little bit neutral. It's got slight champagne tone, which I'm not sure really translates into the viewfinder. And then on the inside, I used a medium weight muslin, which is actually easier to breathe through rather than the double layer of polyester. It's pretty dressy on the outside, classy, but practical on the inside. And voila. And here's the gray one, which is slightly thinner silky material and it's got a little bit more stretch to it, which really helps in the ear straps. And personally, this is one of my favorite colors out of the ones that I've made. And it fits really well. It just contours to the face so nicely. And I can wear this with all of my gray outfits. The main reason that I bought this original material to make masks out of is because I work at Notre Dame as a PhD student and as a professor. And so faculty members are required to wear masks as they're teaching, as are the students when they attend in-person classes. There's a whole thing going on right now about whether we're gonna teach hybrid or completely online or face-to-face -face classes. And I have, for the moment, applied to teach my class in the fall hybrid. So half of the time when I'm actually there on campus teaching in an expanded classroom with social distancing and everything, I will have to wear one of these bad boys. And personally, I think that the neat thing about the colors that I chose is that they're pretty neutral. So when I wear brown, tan, magenta, really warm, summery or autumn colors, I think that the gold works great as a neutral, whereas the gray goes with black, blue, navy blue, and gray too, because that's also a major color scheme in my closet. 
And of course, this is my absolute favorite, which I made from scraps from the lining of a skirt. Black, nothing beats black. And look at that, couture, COVID couture. <laughs> Now, unlike the majority of people trending on YouTube during lockdown, I did not have a chance to dye my hair and go ham with it after COVID happened. Because America's crazy, people were fighting in supermarkets for toilet paper. And one of the things that supermarkets had a real shortage of as soon as lockdown started was hair dye. I actually periodically dye my hair jet black. It is naturally a very, very dark mahogany brown or a black brown with streaks of honey brown, which I get from my mom's side because she has Spanish blood in her veins. Yay colonialism and mestizaje. <laughs> so now my natural hair is starting to really grow out. I'm not sure that this cool lighting actually captures how brown it is. Normally it's got a bluer tint to it with the jet black and now it is just brownish black. What I did do though, which I am so happy about, is I did cut myself some curtain bangs. They're getting a little bit long again, but this is the state of my hair just having washed it this morning, not done anything. I briefly put it up in a bun when it was about two thirds dry because I was cooking lunch. And when I came down again, it's got these natural looking waves that I'm actually not upset with considering the amount of layers that I put into my hair. One of these days when I trim my curtain bangs, I'll try to remember to do a tutorial on how I've parted my hair and cut it to make sure it's even pretty much any which way I part my hair. Most of the time, since I'm left-handed, I part it here and it's nice because it creates a kind of swoop over the left side of my face. Other times when I've got it half up and it comes down kind of in from the middle, it just frames my face in a pretty complimentary way, I would say. Other times if I've got it in a bun, the side pieces just come down in a swoop. Got kind of the early 2000s Britney Spears vibe. So today we're painting the garage floor. Well, that is not a cute angle. Um, we're painting the garage floor. It was gray naturally, and now it's a nicer gray, kind of like a slate gray. I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but the color of the wall, which we painted about two years ago, is kind of like a rice crispy cream. Video lang ako for posterity. Yeah, it's a much, much nicer uh, color than they, it appears to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, that's for the, um, the brush. Hi, so I'm sitting outside. Um, that's the house and that's the garage. That's my mom's chair. We just bought some lawn chairs, which is really nice, actually. They weren't that expensive, um, but they're really comfortable to sit outside in. Today is not bad. It's probably close to 25C, which is actually not bad for the unpredictable Midwest um, summers. But anyway, that's what the neighborhood looks like. And I am just managed to sit in the driveway inside the shadow of the house so that I don't get sunburned. My computer's charging inside and I really can't access the Wi-Fi this far from the house anyway. So I'm just taking the opportunity to calm my ADHD mind and read like a physical copy of one of the poetry anthologies that I need for my dissertation. Yeah. It's a nice breeze. So I was like, when I woke up from my nap earlier, I was like so disoriented and I was like wandering around the house like for an hour, like not being able to focus on anything. I was like, am I on a different planet? And then my mom gave me a glass of water and I was like, oh, I just need to drink water. 
Good morning. It is exactly 6.30 a.m. on Friday morning. Today is going to be a very busy day. After watering the seating project in the lawn outside, I'm going to make breakfast, get showered, and then go head over to campus to pick up a couple of books for my dissertation from the Notre Dame Library. The whole place is pretty much on lockdown still, but the library is semi-open for people to pick up books and to drop off returns, so that's what I'm going to do. Yesterday was really good in terms of my progress on the dissertation proposal. I actually pounded out eight pages, um, and I'm about two pages away from finishing the entire thing. My goal is to get that done this weekend and submit it to my dissertation committee. And then in the next week or two, I'm going to be working on an article, which I had promised um, to submit to a monograph. And I'm working with a couple of other professors on that. In upcoming vlogs, I want to tell you a little bit more about my dissertation and my research in general, and show you a little bit more of the process of how I research and write. Perhaps people out there who are students, who are grad students, where researchers could pick up a couple of tips from me. And in another vlog, a lot of people have requested that I show how I thrift flip, how I alter a lot of my clothes in order to fit me or to just change the style in general. And I'm really excited to show you one that I did, which was a shirt whose sleeves I cut off and now looks like the gayest thing ever. But until then, stay safe, my lovelies. Wear a mask, always sanitize, and I will see you next time. Bye.